Hey, hey, welcome back. All right. Hope you were successful last time with your addition and subtraction. You're using your little tables and going back and forth. Here's a better way. All right. And I want to tell you beforehand, if, and again, make sure that you, you should know, you know, 11 minus 4 immediately is 7. 13 minus uh, 8, 5. 15 minus 9, 6. You should know that immediately. Okay, make sure you know those before you try to mess with this because it's going to be a disaster. Okay, I mean, I don't want to be negative, but I mean, you, it'll take you way longer to do this if you don't know your tables. If you need to take a couple of weeks off and get these tables down perfectly, then you need to take a couple of weeks off and get these down perfectly. It's like trying to, you know, uh, there's an old joke about a farmer who, you know, watches his neighbor farmer during the winter. He takes these, like, uh, post hole diggers and he like, you know, goes Rah! and just crunches through the layer of layer after ice to, you know, to put the fence up. And he just goes, Rah! and he just, you know, hour after hour, just cracking through the ice with his postal diggers to make, to get one little, you know, fence post up. And then he goes, the next day he just works like a dog and doesn't, and then the farmer just kind of goes, hmm, that's interesting. Well, the other farmer just kind of waits till the spring, everything thaws out. And he just goes, toot, 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 right down the line, easy as pie. That's what you want to do with this. This will be way easier if you know, uh, you know, uh, 18 minus 9 is 9. 14 minus 8 is 6. Uh, 12 minus 7 is 5. Things like that immediately. It would be way easier. Okay. Make sure you write this down. You must know these rules. You, even if it's slower at first, do it the slow way and get it right. Develop the method in your head. In a few months or even weeks, this will be, you'll be going like, oh, oh yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. I'll get it. So, but what this is, this addition and subtraction of these signed numbers, this is your ticket to solving equations in the future much faster. If it takes you longer at first, go ahead and make yourself take longer. In the long run, you're going to be so glad in a couple of months you did this. Okay, here's the rule. Write this down. If, you, if you're adding two signed numbers, if the numbers have the same sign, in other words, if they're both positive and you're adding them together, or if they're both negative and you're adding them together, you will first add the numbers absolute values. Remember what that is? Absolute value is distance from zero, okay? The second, you will take the sign, which is, the answer you get will be the same sign as both of those numbers. That's all there is to it, okay? Let's do a couple of these, all right? So. Uh, let's say positive 7 plus positive 8. Well, remember, everybody on earth knows what that is. It's 15, right? Okay, so let's go back to the rule, though. Okay, add the numbers absolute values. Okay, what's the absolute value of positive 7? Seven? 7. What's the absolute value of positive 8? Eight? 8. In other words, how far from 0 are oh, those two numbers? Add them, okay? The answer is 15, okay? Now, second, give the answer the same sign. Oh, that's going to be a positive 15 because both of those guys are positive. Boom, there you go. Okay, here's another one. Negative 6 plus negative 4. And again, you might see this looking like this. Negative 6 minus 4. Same thing, okay? There's a negative 6 sitting there. Right next to it is a negative 4 sitting there. It's the same thing, okay? All right. Give it the same sign. In other words, you take the absolute values. What's the absolute value of negative 6? Six? 6, right? In other words, how far away from 0 is negative 6? It's 6 away, okay? Negative 4, how far away from 0 is negative 4? It's 4, okay? So you add them. It says add. 6 plus 4 is 10, but it's not 10. Look at step B. Give the answer the same sign. Look, they're both negatives. There we go. Negative 10. That's your answer. That's the first rule. Okay. Second rule, if the numbers have the opposite sign. Very important. This is the tricky one. All right. So you're going to subtract the absolute values. Subtract the absolute values first. And then you'll give the answer the same sign as the number with the higher absolute value. Okay. Let me just say it one more time. You're gonna, if they're different signs, you will take them and wipe away the signs. You'll subtract the numbers, absolute values. Then the, the, whether it's a positive or negative, you'll look at the number and go, which one of those has the bigger absolute value? In other words, which one of those is farther away from zero? And you'll go, oh, it's the positive. It's, then you go, okay, the answer is positive. But if you look at one and go, oh, yeah, the, the negative um, part of that was farther away from, then the answer is negative. There you go. So let's do a couple of examples of that, all right? Let's do this first one here, which will be positive 5 plus negative 12, okay? So if you see two numbers in a row, you're going to go, okay, 
They're opposite signs. So my rule says to subtract their absolute values. So you're going to go, okay, absolute value is 5. Absolute value is 12. So take the bigger number. In other words, 12 minus 5 is 7. That's my answer, 7. Wait, no. Look at B. Give the answer the same sign as the number with the higher absolute value. Well, the higher absolute value, oh, this is farther away from 0 than 5. And that's a negative, so it means the answer will be negative, so negative 7. Okay, all right, same thing here. Negative 6 plus positive 8. All right, different signs, absolute values, 8 and 6. Subtract them, 2. Let's see, should it be positive or negative? Which one's farther away from 0? That is, it's positive, and the answer is positive 2. That's all there is to it. Now you do that about 10,000 times and you'll get it, okay? You might even be very fast at this anyway, so, okay? If you have more than two numbers, just go left to right. And if you want to, write the answers as you go along and then do the problem a little bit at a time. I'd highly suggest that. For example, you can do this mentally if you want to. If I were you at first, if you think you might struggle a little bit with this, take a little extra time. Okay, so let's do this together. Okay, so let's just do this together. Negative 4 plus positive 3. Well, those are opposite signs. So you're going to take the absolute values of 4 and a 3. You're going to subtract them, right? 4 minus 3 is 1. Now, should it be negative 1 or positive 1? Well, the negative 4 is farther away from 0 than the positive 3. It's a negative, so that's going to be a negative right there. So I'd stop right there and go, okay, I'm going to start all over. So now I have negative 1 plus negative 5. Now, if you look at this, you go, wait a minute, those are the same sign. So the rule said to just take the absolute values, that's a 1 and a 5, and add them, that's going to be 6, and then take the value of both of them, be neg oh, I got it, negative 6, there it is. Okay, there we go. Now you got another one, plus positive 7, plus positive 7. Okay, so let's see here, they're different so you take the absolute values and you subtract them. So that's going to be 7 minus 6. Okay, that's going to be 1. Now, what's the answer? Is it going to be positive 1 or negative 1? I'm going to look up. Okay, which one of these two, which one is farther away from 0? Has the higher absolute value? This one is. Okay, it's positive. That means the answer is going to be positive. <coughs> you don't have to write the plus there if the answer is positive. Just write a 1. Okay, all right. Let's try another one. Why don't you try this? Stop, pause it, and give it a whirl. Okay, well, let's, let's do one a couple at a time here. Um, let's go negative 4 plus positive 6. Okay, that means they're, at diff they're different signs. So we take the absolute values and subtract them. And that gives us a 2. Should it be positive 2 or negative 2? That's farther away from 0. Positive 2. Okay, now positive 2 plus negative 2. All right, so they're different signs. So you subtract the absolute values. Well, that's a 2. This is also a 2. You subtract it, well, that's zero. Well, there's nothing. I got nothing. You know what? I'm starting all over. There ain't nothing right here. I'm, I start. Okay, so let's just start with this last one. You don't have to go, oh, I'm going to add zero to this. Nothing. Just leave it out. Okay, so I got a seven and I got a negative five. So those are opposite signs. So I subtract the absolute values. Seven minus five equals two. Should I choose positive two or negative two? That one's farther away from zero. So the answer is positive two. And that's all there is to it. Okay. All right, look on page 223 and try those practice problems and we will do those together. So go ahead and try A. Okay, let's just go left to right if you want. Negative four plus negative three. Those are the same sign. So you take the absolute values and you add them. So I have a four plus three is seven. Then you give the answer the same sign as both of those. So that's what I've got so far is negative seven. So just do the two now. Just go with the two. Forget the negative five for a second. We'll get that in a minute. All right? So here you go. Here you go. These are opposite signs, right? So we're going to take the absolute values and subtract them. So seven minus two. That is a five, right? Now, should that be negative five or positive five? Well, this is farther away from zero than that is. So the answer will be negative five. Okay? All right. Now we have the last one. Negative five plus negative five. Well, those are both the same signs. So you add the absolute values, 5 plus 5 is 10. Then you take the same sign that both of those are. So the answer is negative 10. There we go. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's try B. 
All right, let's just go left to right. Negative 8 plus 13. Well, those are different signs. So we take the absolute values, 13, and we subtract them. Minus 8 is 5. Okay, which one is, uh, is it going to be, positive or negative? Well, that's the one that's farther away from 0, so we take that sign. Okay, so now let's go 5 plus negative 5. All right, you might see this right away, but just in case, all right, they're opposite signs. So we take absolute values, 5 and 5, and you subtract them. So 5 minus 5 is 0. 0 plus a negative 8 is just going to be negative 8. You don't even need to mess with that. So there we go. Okay. All right. Let's try C. Pause it and try that. Okay. Let's give it a whirl here. 3 and a negative 8. Okay. They're opposite signs. So you take the absolute values, 8 and 3, and you subtract them. 8 minus 3 is 5. Should that be negative 5 or positive 5? That's farther away from 0. Negative 5. All right. How about now, negative 5, I'm just putting these in parentheses just kind of, you know, set them apart a little bit. Negative 5 plus negative 9, well, there are two of the same sign. So you take the absolute values and you add them, right? So 5 plus 9 is 14, and then you go, okay, since both of those are negative, that's negative. Boom, negative 14. Then let's go plus 2. Opposite signs, so you subtract the absolute values. 14 minus 2 is 12. Which sign should I take? Uh, oh, that's farther away from zero, so that's going to be the same sign. So negative 12 plus negative 4. And again, both the same signs, absolute value, just wipe it out. 12 plus 4 is 16. And the answer should take the same uh, sign as both of them. There you go, negative 16. That's it. Okay. All right. I think there's one more. There is. It's right in the middle of what we just did. Okay. So pause it and give that a whirl. Okay. So let's go negative 5 plus 8. Let's just kind of do this mentally here. 8 minus 5 is 3. That'll be positive 3 because that's farther away from 0. 3 plus 9. Ah, heck, we know that's 12. Okay. 12 plus negative 5. All right, they're different signs. So I take the absolute values, 12 and 5, and I subtract. 12 minus 5 is 7. Okay, so 7. Should that be positive or 7 or negative 7? 12 is farther away from 0, and that's a positive. So that'll be a positive as well. Don't have to write positive. I just did it. Positive 7 plus negative 7. And again, opposite signs. So we're going to take the absolute values and subtract. 7 minus 7 is 0. Well, <laughs> if it's 0, you ain't got anything else with it. There's no, oh, is it a negative 0 or a positive 0? Whatever. Okay. All right. Work on those. If you need to, again, work on your speed on these tables. They're really important to, to know. Okay. In other words, if you know uh, 13 minus 9 is 4 immediately, you're going to go at some point very quickly, oh, wait, 9 minus 13 is negative 4. That's, a, that's how it helps you. So, okay. Good luck today. See you guys next time.